Hi guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to the Traveling Epicurean. Today we're making a tasty dish. We're cooking up some curry. Curry shrimp and snow peas in coconut milk and white wine. It's out of this world and only takes mere minutes to make. Come on over here and I'll show you what we're gonna need to get this going. So this is what we're gonna need to make our curry shrimp and snow peas in the coconut milk and white wine dish. We have fresh dill, a clove of garlic I put through the garlic press, a half a cup of finely chopped sweet onion, a pound of shrimp, curry, turmeric, and coriander, fresh limes, snow peas, a half a cup of white wine, coconut milk, chicken broth, and jasmine or basmati rice. I cooked up three cups of jasmine rice, and that's a half a cup of coarsely chopped dill. The dill goes so nicely with curry. And I'm gonna show you how to get the strings off of the snow peas here, and then we're gonna to start to saute up the onions. So the snow peas, there's a little end here that will have a little bit of a stem. We just cut it with a knife, and then we just pull it. Sometimes there's more string than other times that will release, and that one didn't have any at all. <laughs> so we would just cut off the end like this, and then we pull it just like that. And then if there's a stem on the other side, we cut that as well, and then we're done. All right, I'm gonna get my apron on so I could get over to the stove and start sauteing these onions. You know, I love how complex this sauce is and how quickly it's made. No one will ever believe it. Um, the curry and the coconut milk just come together so nicely. And the other half of the battle is getting good shrimp. Make sure you go to your seafood market and get quality shrimp because that's half the dish, right? Nice. One of my other favorite curry dishes is when I did that beef bolognon. And on the second day, I show you how to make that Indian spice tomato cream. I'll have the link up here. You gotta check out that show if you haven't seen it already. All right, let's get over to the stove and I'll start sauteing these onions. Okay, look, we have a little bit of coconut oil, about a tablespoon. I figured it'd stay on the, the coconut trail since we are cooking with coconut milk today. And I'm heating that up. You could use olive oil if you don't have coconut oil. It's, it's absolutely perfect to use either one. Get those onions in there. I'm gonna to wait to add the garlic this way. That garlic doesn't burn because I put it through the garlic press. So I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of salt to release some of the juices out of the onion. I have it on a medium high. And I'm just gonna saute this for about two minutes. It's been about two minutes. Now I'm going to add in the garlic. I really don't want the garlic to burn because it will get bitter. So I'm just going to warm that through and then I'm going to deglaze it with a little bit of white wine, about a half a cup. All right, so I'm going to deglaze with a half a cup of white wine. Oh, that smells delicious and let this simmer. I'm gonna turn it back up to high. And we're gonna let that reduce for one minute. All right, this has been reducing for about a minute and I'm gonna add some chicken stock. And we're gonna do the same thing with that. That's gonna reduce for another minute. And I'm gonna add in the snow peas and bring that back up to a simmer. And we'll be back in one minute. It needs a little sprinkle of salt. And then I'm gonna add the can of coconut milk. It makes an amazing sauce. So easy. Really lush and velvety. And then we're gonna add in those Indian spices and it's gonna be heavenly. All right, I'm gonna bring this to a simmer. And while I'm bringing this up back up to a simmer, I'm gonna to start to add the spices. All right, so this is up to a nice simmer. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so it's a medium high. I'm gonna add in our lovely spices and whisk those around. And I'm gonna keep it at a low simmer just for about two more minutes. 
and let the sauce thicken up a little bit. And then we're gonna add in the shrimp. All right, so I have, I turned it down to low because the boil was too heavy. And then I'm gonna add in some half and half. And that really brings the sauce all together. It's looking absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna let this simmer for two to three minutes till it thickens up a little bit. I really love working with curries. They're just so flavorful and they change the sauce into this amazing fragrant dish. So I've added in a tablespoon of butter right here and all of the shrimp. It's been simmering for three minutes and now that I've added in the shrimp and the butter, I'm just gonna let it simmer on low just until the, the shrimp is cooked through. You don't wanna cook the shrimp any more than a few minutes. So we're gonna squeeze in the lime juice. And last but not least, I'm adding in three tablespoons of sour cream. And that's gonna bring it all to a new level of flavors. Wait to try this sauce, unbelievable. So delicious, all right. We're just gonna melt that through and I'm taking it right off of the stove. Wow, this looks really pretty. I'm gonna start to plate up a bowl here with this jasmine rice and dill. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I can't wait to have a bite. Wow, this really is mm, so delicious. Was this the quickest recipe ever? <laughs> Wait to taste this curry shrimp and snow peas. You won't believe it. It's so delicious. That sauce is really delicate. And I am picky about my sauces because I am sauce girl. You're gonna really love this curry. I can't wait for you to go make it. And remember, I have a link below and that'll take you right to the traveling Epicurean. You won't have to search for the recipe. It'll take you right to the recipe page. So thank you so much for watching today. I can't wait for you to make this lovely dish. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Ciao.